presented our study uh, on disinformation in Southeastern Europe, where we looked at 11 countries in the region to summarize what is uh, the state of disinformation in Southeastern Europe, how is it developing, which are the actors, which are the media, and what can we do about it. You have the same messages being spread uh, everywhere. You have uh, uh, modern social media platforms being the main source for disinformation in all of the uh, societies. There's a lot of uh, domestic actors in all the countries of uh, Southeastern Europe uh, producing disinformation for political or financial purposes. I wanted to talk about our experience as the Council of Media Ethics and our unique approach of creating a register of professional media. There is criteria uh, that uh, we listed in that, uh, in that register, so every media that uh, uh, fulfills this criteria is a member of our organization. It's very basic like, to have an impression, to respect the et code of ethics, to be transparent in the way of financing. And I think that's, that's important because that's how we make a distinction between so-called web portals that are opening like mushrooms after rain, especially before elections, and really good uh, newsrooms that are working on the field of internet. Disinformation can no longer be understood as some opportunistic, isolated phenomenon. It's really a tool of hostile foreign interference and it should be really viewed as part of this broader strategic toolkit that can be used by our adversaries like Russia, China and Iran. Information is essentially a part of critical infrastructure, just like provision of electricity or water. This is an awareness that our governments but also our militaries need to have.